Hey everyone, so we pick up our story um, where we left off last week and last week we saw that uh, we uh, we've started a new series, um, our series called Go um, and Go is all about being on a mission um, and last week we saw this mission, um, this is a mission that Jesus gave to his first disciples, the mission that everyone who follows Jesus has been on ever since and we said that it's the most important mission um, that there has ever been in the world. This is a mission that was given by God. And last week we saw that this is what the mission was. The mission is to go and tell other people about Jesus. Now for the first disciples, it was about going and telling people who may have never heard of Jesus. Uh, they had to leave Jerusalem where they were uh, and go to the ends of the earth sharing the news of who Jesus was and what he had done. But for us, uh, we might just go over our back fence to our neighbours. Um, or maybe some people, they will. They will go to the other side of the world to share the news about Jesus. So whether we stay at home or we go far away, uh, we are on this mission together. Now at home, we might um, do something fun with our friends. We might go skateboarding, we might kick a ball. Uh, and as we do that, we can tell them about Jesus. And to go around the world, we might need to go in a boat, uh, we might need to fly a plane. But the mission has always been the same, to go and tell others all about Jesus. Uh, but this mission, it isn't easy. And um, this mission has obstacles. Now, some of them might be obstacles like rocks that get in the way or long roads uh, that we need to walk down or travel down. Um, obstacles like that that make it hard or maybe there are other obstacles that come from people maybe opposition people who don't want others to know about Jesus maybe we doubt uh, maybe we don't know what to say but obstacles all make the mission hard uh, obstacles make it hard to be on the mission that God has given us um, but God knows this so God doesn't leave us on our own Jesus didn't leave the first disciples on their own. Jesus said that he was going to send someone who would be with them. Um, just like if we're at the beach, uh, we might get in trouble and we might need some help. Uh, we might need someone to come and help us. Uh, we might need someone to come and rescue us. Um, but we need a helper. And we need a helper on this mission as well. So that's what we're going to look at today in this book of Acts, chapter 2 in the Bible. Uh, we're going to see that God sends a helper to his people on this mission. Um, now, it's all about a day called Pentecost. Now, Pente means 50. Uh, so this is 50 days after the first Easter Sunday. And now you remember, Easter Sunday was the day where the women, they found the tomb was empty, where Jesus' body had been put, that some of the other disciples went and found the same thing. Uh, so 50 days after this first Easter Sunday, uh, when the angel told them that Jesus has risen, um, this is what happens. The disciples, they're all hanging out together. Um, they're in a room again, like they always had been. And as they are there, um, something kind of crazy happens. All of a sudden, what looks like fire comes down and stops above each of them. Um, this fire, that comes from heaven. And now this fire, this was like a symbol of what was happening. It was a symbol that God was sending a helper. It was a symbol that God was doing what Jesus said he would do uh, when he was going to send the Holy Spirit to be with his people. And that is what happened on this day. The Holy Spirit came to help Jesus' disciples. And it's the same thing that happened at Jesus' baptism. You might remember when Jesus goes down into the water and comes up and he sees a dove descending from heaven. That same Holy Spirit now comes to be with all of the disciples. And in Acts 2, what we see is that the Holy Spirit helps Jesus' disciples to share the news of Jesus. Um, that they get up, on that day they go out into the town square and they begin to talk about Jesus in all kinds of different languages. People from all over the world at that time had come to Jerusalem and they all get to hear the news of Jesus in their own language. See, so the Holy Spirit helps Jesus' disciples to be on mission. And the same is true for us. And that as we go on this mission that God has given us together, 
as we go and tell others about Jesus, God sends the Holy Spirit to help us to share the news of Jesus with others.